you can accurately model motion by keeping track of quantities of displacement and or speed as time goes on using these formulas but we can also create a picture where it tells stories and we can use graphs to model motion and to figure out things that are beyond what's immediately evident uh, when we're graphing some fundamentals of graphing we can plot an object's position as time goes by and it tells us its location as time goes by uh, position is the dependent variable, time is the independent variable, and usually when we compare two variables we create a, uh, a y versus x graph and we can actually figure out the velocity based on the information presented in this. Uh, when we're creating Cartesian graphs or when we're creating position versus time graphs we use a Cartesian coordinate system. X is on the y-axis the location is on the y-axis or the position, time is on the x-axis. We label the units in, in, uh, in parentheses, so x is meters, time is seconds, and we add points and it lets us know what's happening to the position as time goes by or as time progresses. Similarly, we can have the same approach with a velocity graph, and this is a speed graph. It tells us what's happening to the object's speed as time goes on, and from this we can find displacements, and acceleration. So let's say if we start at a position of 4 meters and you travel at a constant speed for 6 seconds, we can determine our locations or our new positions as time goes by. Let's write the equation for speed and let's again we're going to assume that we're traveling with a constant velocity or speed and we know speed is our change in distance per change in time. We'll rewrite speed is d minus d naught divided by delta t. So our change in distance would be d minus d naught and our distance traveled will depend on how fast we're going, the speed, our starting location, and the elapsed time. So let's manipulate this equation and we'll solve it for d d has delta t subtracted and d naught, excuse me, delta t divided and d naught subtracted. So the first thing we will do, I'll rewrite s equals d minus d naught divided by delta t. The first thing I'm going to do is to multiply both sides by delta t. So speed times delta t will be equal to d minus d naught on account of the fact that the delta t's cancel. And I'll rewrite speed times delta t is equal to d minus d naught, isolating d. So we have to add d naught to both sides. So the distance traveled will now be speed times delta t plus d naught your starting location. So let's make a data table. Keep track of information. Times and corresponding displacements. We're interested in keeping track of time or the location of this object at various points in time. And those times are 0 seconds, 2 seconds, five seconds and six seconds. So now we have an equation that we can use to compute the values for d at those various points in time based on knowing the speed, the initial location, x naught is d naught, and how much elapsed time has gone by. So in the first case we'll solve for the distance traveled at zero seconds So again, that's zero seconds is the initial condition. That's the speed, two meters per second, times the time, zero seconds, plus the initial starting location, four meters, which was provided in the problem. So when we do two times zero, we get 
zero plus four is, oh, how about that? No time has gone by. We're at the four meter mark. Let's apply this equation at the two second mark. So the distance at two seconds, or after two seconds of elapsed time, will be equal to two meters per second, the speed, which is the starting and ending because it's constant, times the amount of elapsed time, two seconds, plus the starting location, four meters. Two times two is four, plus four is eight meters. Our new location after two seconds is eight meters. The distance after five seconds will be the speed, two meters per second, times the amount of elapsed time, five seconds, plus four meters, our starting location. Two times five is 10, plus four is 14 meters. And then lastly, we'll evaluate this or solve this equation at six seconds. The distance traveled at six seconds will be two meters times, two meters per second that is, times six seconds plus four meters, our starting location. Two times six is 12 plus four is 16 meters. So this gives us our positions at various points in time. Equations are storytellers. They let us know where we've been and where we will be.